Semaglutide has been in the news lately as an incredible weight loss option, but is it? Hi, I'm Dr. Angela Yeagley. Welcome to Sage Health TV. Today I want to dive into semaglutide, um, which is an injectable weight loss medication. Um, and talk about, you know, right now it's being called in the news as a weight loss game changer, you know, is an incredible option for people to lose, hard to lose weight, you know, but really, you know, is this a really good option? So I have had this medication requested for me for probably about a year and I've held off given that, you know, really when you're looking at weight loss options, usually easy or quick many times is not typically the best option. Um, now, there have been many studies that have come out since that time. They're called the STEP studies or the STEP trials, and they are really showing some incredible results. So I finally allowed <laughs> and decided uh, to bring this into the practice and work with some people um, on using this on weight loss. And I have to say, I have been very pleasantly surprised. Um, so I wanted to talk to you today about, you know, what this is, what it does, you know, could it be a good option for you? Um, so semaglutide is also known as, you're gonna hear it as Ozempic and Wagovi, and there are also some other generic names that are less common as well. Um, the Ozempic and Wagovi are typically put out there for type 2 diabetes, um, but now the FDA has also approved semaglutide for weight loss specifically. So what's interesting about weight, I think most of us know, um, it's a huge problem in the U.S. Um, and unfortunately around the world as well, although U.S. right now is a leader in obesity. Um, about 40% of U.S. Uh, you know, people are overweight, and that's a BMI of 25 to 29, um, and 13% of our population is obese, which is a BMI of over 30. Um, so, you know, especially what I've seen just over time in my people that when, you know, you've reached that obese category, it can be very difficult to turn it around. And so having an option that is actually, you know, appears to be safe and well tolerated and works really well. I mean, I'm actually inclined to believe maybe this is a weight loss game changer. Um, so what is it? Uh, semaglutide is a GLP-1 analog. Um, what is that? Um, essentially, G GLP-1 receptors are all throughout our body. Um, we have them in our brain. Uh, we have them on the hypothalamus. We have them in our pancreas. Um, but essentially, this is not just, you know, when we're treating, say, it's for technically or it began for diabetes, not just for diabetes, as it's really impacting cells all throughout our body. So what does it do? So when we increase that GLP-1 or we hit those receptors, um, people really do. They start feeling um, satiated. They feel that like, you know, it creates a feeling of fullness um, when you eat. And the feedback that I've gotten so far is that um, someone say, you know, they have a plate they normally begin with and they're like, oh, this is no problem for me. Um, they'll get halfway through and they're like, you know, I'm not really hungry anymore. So that's how it seems to be the result of this. Um, and then it increases insulin a little bit. So that's more important for like your pre-diabetics, type two diabetics. Of course, you know, if you were just using this for weight loss, it will do that for you too. Um, and glucagon, which is, uh, helps with sugar regulation from the liver. Um, but the important thing is without actually creating hypoglycemia, so, or lowering your blood sugar significantly to where you feel, you know, that you're compromised in some way, you feel lightheaded or dizzy. Um, say, for instance, if you're taking insulin, something like that would happen. You're gonna have a rise and then you're gonna have a crash. That does not happen with this. Um, the next thing that it does is it slows gastric em emptying. So that's your stomach. So essentially, it's going to slightly slow down the release of food um, from your stomach. Um, and so <clears throat> probably also that's contributing to that feeling of just like, oh, I'm good, I'm full, you know, I, I'm good on the portions or, you know, lessening the portions that I have. And then appetite reduction as well. Um, so what's really interesting that in, in the studies they found, because they did year-long trials of this medication uh, on people, that, that the, the risk reduction in other areas was quite significant in a very good way. So meaning that 
um, cardiovascular risk or risk of heart attack, stroke, you know, other like hypertension um, or other cardio related issues actually went down significantly. Um, and that this has not been the case actually with a lot of other previous weight loss medications or ones that are still available like FenFen, um, where the cardiovascular risk because it's the stimulant actually goes up and heart issues go up. So that's pretty cool. So, and also looking at other risk factors like that are tend to be paired with obesity, like increased risk of cancer. Cancer risk is looking like it goes down um, or increased risk of developing diabetes, you know, with that weight loss that goes down. So I think that's actually quite amazing. And I, and I think a bonus likely for, you know, doing this medication. Um, so what could you expect? You're thinking, well, you know, I've had, I have this hard to lose amount of weight, you know, uh, what would I need to do or what could I expect? Um, so what they found is that, <clears throat> that what you do is when you begin, you start with a lower dose and we work you up, right? It is an injection. It's a sub Q injection. So I have my people come in and we teach them how to do it. And then you take the medication home and you inject yourself once weekly. Most the the weight expectation does depend on you know how much weight you have to lose. But what I'm seeing um, is like a half pound to two pounds a week in people, um, and so and I've seen more than that. Um, but you know I as we go along, you know that level is go, is going to drop down, and that's pretty typical with you know any usually weight loss you know interventions that you tend to lose a little more in the beginning you know as you might be changing things or with this medication even that that's all you're doing um and then it sort of it starts evening out and you have a steady weight loss amount um and so what they found is that in these trials where they did like a year long with people they lost over 15 percent of their body weight and that actually, I was surprised to kind of hear this, that it was comparable to doing gastric bypass and people had a lot of weight to lose. That's really incredible. I mean, if we're thinking, you know, somebody is, is very obese, you know, and they're really looking for significant options, this actually could be a really good option. Um, so, you know, long term, um, well, actually one thing I didn't, I missed here is talking about side effects. Uh, so the listed side effects are like nausea, um, a little bit, it was stomach upset, um, uh, maybe a little digestive upset or, you know, a little loose stool or constipation. Um, but what I'm seeing actually that's, that hasn't yet really come to pass. Of course you, you know, you always let people know it is recommended that we prescribe like an anti-nausea medication at first. Um, but so far none of my people have needed it. And this has been the case. One of the orthopedic docs that highly, this is Dr. Silva in Bellevue is amazing. Um, he was kind of highly recommending this medication for my people as it's been very successful for his people um, had also said the same thing that it's very rare actually that people get significant nausea um, but it would be you know in the studies it would be like a number one thing why people might might stop it if they did experience that um, so then what you know what does this look like for you so most people have a weight loss goal so you would expect that you would do the medication up to your weight loss goal um, in the studies, um, some people, once they stop the medication, you know, they continue with their, you know, their weight loss change and they do really well. Other people actually, you know, have a harder time with that and do need to do so, some sort of maintenance dose of the medication. Um, and usually that's at a lower dose. Um, and in talking with, say again, a pharmacist who has used this for a long time, um, they, it, he just kind of, you know, basically confirmed that, that a lot of people can maintain their weight very nicely once they come off the medication. Um, but uh, some people, again, if weight has been a problem for a long, long time, uh, may need to do it a little longer, um, to maintain that. Um, so, you know, how do we start? Uh, first you would let, you know, let me know. Um, the cool thing is, is that, uh, we, right now the cost is, you know, if you are just going, having your doctor prescribe it for you at a regular pharmacy and you don't have type two diabetes and you haven't gotten it pre-authorized, it's running about $1,500 a month. Um, however, there are compounding pharmacies now, um, 
this is fantastic. So same medication, um, and it, it ends up being about 350 a month. So great savings. Um, and this is something that, again, is prescription, so we prescribe it through the compounding pharmacy, then have you grab it, bring it in, and we teach you, again, how to do like those sub-Q injections. Very, very easy. It's with an insulin syringe, um, and it's a once a week injection. Um, you know, I will say, um, so it's actually the starting is very easy because you don't really have to change anything else. You don't have to change your diet. You don't have to change your exercise. However, you know, if you're seeing me or anybody else and you know, the other doctors at my clinic, you know, we're always going to encourage you, you know, to incorporate exercise or increase exercise. Um, and, and how can we shift diet towards a more whole foods diet, you know, um, if that's not something you're doing already. So it's not absolutely necessary that you change your diet and exercise. You will still lose weight. And I think this why, you know, this medication has become so popular because you don't have to change anything um but i would say you know this is something you know healthier eating habits there's other benefits besides weight loss for doing a whole foods diet getting all those antioxidants other protections so i'm still going to encourage you to do that if you come to see me <laughs> um, so please if you have any questions about this i would love to talk with you um, come make an appointment um, myself dr pfeiffer is also offering it here um, we'd love to have a sit down thank you for joining me